Hi, I'm Tim Owen. I'm, I'm a senior developer here at Brandwatch. I've been here for nearly four years now, since the early days of Brandwatch, the product. And um, I'm mainly responsible for what's called the back end of the system, which is the, the crawling, uh, the an analyzing the pages to match them against queries, um, and then storing uh, the data away. That's mainly what I spend my time on, is working on storage. Um, so that's, yeah, that's basically what I do here. So we crawl the web ourselves. Uh, we don't, um, apart from Twitter, we don't get any external sort of feeds of data. We actually go out and crawl it ourselves, go to each site that we want to crawl, and we get the data ourselves. We analyze it, extract the content. So uh, we've, we've built that up over many years of building up a big list of sites to cover. And um, having our own crawlers means that we can uh, customize it. We can choose what we cover. We can choose what not to cover. We can adapt to what customers want us to do. If they ask us to cover some sites, uh, we can do that immediately. Um, so yeah, we, um, we like to have control over the way we crawl the data. Uh, each day, the crawlers run through um, a long list of sites. Uh, we've got priorities for uh, which sites get covered and when. And um, so we have a big list of millions and millions of sites to cover. Uh, the crawlers run through those. They look for new pages that are new since they last looked. And, um, and then when they finish, they just go around again. Uh, and if it's a, um, a very important site, so we cover those sort of much more frequently every few minutes to make sure we're getting full coverage. Um, the other big difference uh, with, with Twitter is that we, get, we do actually um, have a stream of tweets that comes from a reseller f uh, direct from Twitter. So we get a, a fire hose of tweets and we process those. So that means that we don't have to kind of ask for tweets, we just get them fed to us. So every day we add uh, about 25 million new pages um, that we hadn't seen before. Um, that's across all languages, including Twitter, um, across everything that we cover. And that's only really increasing. I mean, we're always, uh, th the rate of pages we see every day just only goes up. So uh, yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of data out there. <laughs> um, the data we get when we crawl is stored in, in three technologies. We, uh, we use a traditional uh, database to store information about the page. Uh, we, we use um, a, a, a sort of repository storage to keep the actual content of the page, the actual HTML, the, the plain text that we extract from that. Um, so we, we, we store all those uh, separately, um, indefinitely. And also we use a search index, so our, our, the content of the pages is put into a, a full text index which allows us to do searches by words. Um, so all the pages we crawl are put into all those technologies and the results you see on the app are retrieved from those three places. Well, we, our archive now goes back to the middle of 2009, so that's, yeah, two and a half years now we've got of archive. Um, so if customers want to, to look at data that far back, um, that's no problem. Uh, we do have even older data than that offline, so in special cases we can re uh, retrieve much older data going back to 2007. Uh, with Facebook, uh, we're limited by their privacy policies, so um, we can only really crawl pages that are publicly accessible. We can't uh, log in as a particular user and try and crawl pages that you might see if you were logged into Facebook. So that's the same for everyone. We, you know, we are limited to what's publicly accessible. Um, we use their API. They provide a couple of APIs for getting data. So for um, general searches of, of query terms, we can use their, um, their API for that. They also provide an API which allows, um, if customers give us permission to crawl their particular managed uh, Facebook pages, we can do that. And um, we, we've developed an app that integrates with Facebook that allows our crawlers to, to retrieve the pages that uh, Facebook administrators can see. So um, that, that's a particular feature in the app that we do for Facebook pages. Uh, a couple of times we've, um, we've developed uh, custom spidering for customers who, who, do, who run their own websites and uh, they allow us uh, to log into the site with our crawlers and retrieve the content and store it. Um, Obviously, we can only provide that information to that customer, so we've developed filters in the application that let us show those pages only to the customer whose, whose site it is. But that was a feature we developed in a few days for somebody uh, who asked us to do it, so that's the kind of sort of flexibility it allows us to do with our own crawlers.